And there are thousands of bikers who have taken over downtown Washington, D.C. as they ride here every year to remember the captured and missing in Vietnam. And this morning, ABC's Bob Woodruff shares a remarkable story of honor and commitment from that war. It was a dangerous war in Vietnam, a foreign land where American soldiers badly needed translators. From 1967 to 1971, Nguyen Hoang Minh was the combat interpreter for every SEAL team in the Mekong Delta. Those SEAL teams were the most effective combat SEAL teams in Vietnam, primarily because of Ming's influence. When the U.S. pulled out of Vietnam, Minh disappeared. No word of him for over 40 years. Assumed dead until patrol boat officer John Donovan found him in 2006. He looks at me and this big <laughs> smile breaks out. That was the thing that identified him the most, is he always had this big grin on his face. This week in Vietnam, I got the chance to hear his remarkable story. This is beautiful out here. Min spent almost two and a half years in a prison camp. When I get out of the prisoner camp, you know, I am, I have no food, no everything, you know. How the SEALs who fought by his side built him a new house. My, my bedroom, my bedroom. <laughs> They're also giving him $300 a month for life. What would your life be like if the SEALs did not find you? I will be dead for a long time. <laughs> In 2013, they flew him to Florida to reunite with his platoon, seen here in the documentary, A Bond Unbroken, The Why of Men. Hey, you're getting old. <laughs> you're a hell of a man, I tell you. Yeah, yeah. God bless you. Before the SEALs' generosity, he was too poor to send his children to college. Now his granddaughter, is a freshman at the Ho Chi Minh City University of Science. Her dream, she told me, is to become a pharmacist. Interpreters like Min are often the unsung heroes of war, but in Min's case, the SEALs will always remember his contribution. Our friendship. Yeah. For This Week, I'm Bob Woodruff in Mito, Vietnam.